Oh my gosh, I know this track. I've been on this track before. I can't believe they're recycling tracks. Okay, uh, uh, a little bit of changes, but it's not much. In fact, a lot of this shit is uh, a lot, of, I don't want to say dumbed down, but uh, it's a lot flatter. I guess it's flatter because the bikes go farther because maybe they're going a little faster. First place, bitch. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to recognize these other um, tracks, but unofficially, I'll never remember what they originally were. But uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Oh no, it looks like my stream died, and maybe it came back to life. But uh, whatever. Streaming software, my computer, my internet connection are not all friends. So, here we go. Next. Pontiac. Well, I'm surprised you're even allowed to use the name Pontiac. Pontiac, Michigan. I do believe. Okay, so one of the most important things you can do is get the whole shot. You don't have to dick around with chasing other people and having other people get in your way. Take the inside line and cock block anybody who's trying to uh, take that line away from you. Ride on your rear wheel through a lot of this uh, bumpy stuff. Which means just, you know, oh, lay back on the, uh, on the rider lean. And then to get over like jumps like I just did on that uh, uh, this flat track man. Whoops. To get over jumps like this, you, you what you want to do? Oh man, yeah, I just didn't have enough time to line that up and wasn't going fast enough. Whip, whip backwards and forwards on your rider lean, and that's called preload. And then, well, it's just called preloading. Um, but what you do when you know you can see me leaning back on. Leaning back on the suspension, and then throwing my weight forward. Oh, changes everything. Oh, and yeah, I was getting, I was trying to line up to show you preload, but uh, yeah, I hit a, I hit a wall. I'll catch him. And I'll catch him too. Okay, get to the inside. Just keep cock-locking people on the inside. Now here, back and forward. And you give that a little flick, and you can get over a little crest. Right? If I just rode at it without a flick on the rider uh, body weighting, it never would have uh, It never would have done it. I never would have landed. I, I would have landed on the uphill side. I would have cased it on the jump. So preload and then sprint. Bam, first place. Three laps. Yeah, three laps ain't you know, you know too tough. It, it's tough to be consistent for like 20 laps, like a real motocross race. Holy crap! So if you were ever to play this game at you know hard level with 20 guys um, or 16 guys and uh, 20 20 laps, <laughs> it would it would be funny as hell. 
All right. Well, I guess um, I got I got off the podium, and I'm gonna take a quick look at my garage. Ah, too late. I just went to the next level. So here we are in Tucson, open cross. So I'm thinking this is this has got to be recycles of tracks that you know we've already played. Tracks that they could, you know, put in a video game as uh, copycats before licensing became a huge issue. Alright, so here's what I'm talking about, about just riding on that back tire. I didn't, I didn't preload and, and jump anything until right then. And I was off the track, so I got lucky. Here, I'm going to preload again and flick it. Oh, it, it, it got me just over that hill enough to take this guy out by sticking to the inside corner. He's not getting around me, as long as I protect the inside. Flick back on the stick, on the little rider stick, the right stick. Back and then flick. Back flick. Here we go again. Nope. Nope. That's turns. This is just riding on the back wheel. Moto through this shit. I guess if you had the right uh, speed coming into it, you could uh, jump it all. Flick and stick. Flick the stick. Pull back. Flick. Um, yep. That, you can just kind of ride through. I'm trying to get back to my inside line. Now, clearly, you can... You can if you're, if you're hauling ass and carry here, we go from back, back and flick. I wouldn't have made that if I wasn't preloaded. If I just drove right into that, right into that, uh, that jump, it would have, uh, it would have bogged me down by off oh, me hitting the jump face on the landing instead of clearing the jump and maintaining my momentum. All right, so here we are back on the rear wheel, just wheeling through all these. Uh, little, those aren't really whoop de doos, but close enough. To call them that. Whip and flick. And just flick, I guess. I don't want to confuse. Whipping. Pull back and flick. Did that. I did a little whip and flick there. Uh, yeah. Stick flick. Let's just call it stick flick. You understand that it's taking the right stick. I made a double-decker taco yesterday, which is really a soft shell. Sometimes they, they cover that with some uh, some meat paste, but my meat is chunky. My uh, taco meat is a big, chunky ground beef. Or uh, it's carne asada or chicken. And uh, so what I do is I take a soft shell taco and melt cheese on it. And I'm going to try one with melted cheese and refried beans as a combo. Flick and oops. Okay, pull back and flick. Boom. See how I bunny hop? Okay, and here we're going to just ride the back wheel. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I take a soft shell taco and I cover it with cheese and then I put it in the microwave for a little tiny bit of time. I nuke enough to melt the cheese, then I throw it in a frying pan so that it stays hot and it gets a little bit of color and it gets a little drier on the bottom side. And then I grab a hard shell taco and I put that in this little um, taco stand-up thing. Like I've used a paper plate and you just fold the paper plate creatively and it will hold two tacos in a zigzag pattern. Just go look at uh, Amazon.com for a taco holder. Let's see what I mean. Or you've probably been to restaurants where they serve tacos and they're all stood up in this little stainless steel zigzag thing. Anyway, um, long story long. Soft shell covered in cheese, 
throw it in a frying pan. Get it hot. Grab your uh, corn taco shell. Crispy corn. Uh, soft shells, obviously. A flour tortilla. When you grab the uh, corn corn taco shell, you fill it up with meat. Uh, and then you grab the soft shell covered in cheese out of the frying pan. It's hotter than hell. You've got the taco meats already hotter than hell. Okay, so you can see my guy's body. Body. English. Get back on the I know this track. I remember this track. I've been on this track. Anyway, you take that uh, soft shell taco that's covered in melted cheese and you wrap it around the cor heart the corn, the crispy corn taco shell, crunchy taco shell, and you fill that thing up with uh, your taco meat. You've already got the cheese on the soft shell. So now you have more room for meat. You don't have to waste um, space in the taco, the, the crunchy taco shell with cheese. You can put in more meat, but I like to put in more pico de gallo and sour cream or guacamole. Holy crap. I make some wicked ass fucking tacos like they did. I have upped my taco game, like, in a huge way in the last, I don't know, 10 months of lockdown? <laughs> oh, it cracked me up. No, but really, I started getting serious about the tacos in the last two months. It's like, well, as long as I'm here, uh, I guess I'll wash a whole bunch of dishes and, you know, make some ferocious tacos. And then wash a whole bunch more dishes. Because I needed to wash the dishes at first to, in order to have clean dishes to make ferocious tacos. And I made ferocious tacos. Oh, I did a little flick there. Oh, a little flick there. Yeah, it got me around, got me around, got me around. Now, nah, here, here, I'm, I'm like, uh, both breaking and clutching at the same time. And here, I am doing the same. Um, I, I let go of the brake before I let go of the clutch. Yes. Uh, let me, let me, let me, yep. Yes. I let go of the brake until I am completely pointed in the right direction. Then I dump the clutch. And bam. Well, okay, did a little early there because I was yapping and bragging about it. Okay, a little flick. Another flick. Preload flick. Oh, rear tire. Just ride through it. Oh, here we go with a flick. Oh, and I blew it. Blew the landing. Man, it's really tough to bring a bring a whip back in this game. Or maybe I just my whips are too extreme. That's what it is. See? See, I even lost a place trying to whip. Well enough of that shit. Flick. And a little flick was required there. We're getting inside this bitch. Yeah, we got a little whip and we got inside him. Okay, this is gonna take a flick. I remember that from the last lap. Another flick. Now just rear tire. a minor whip. Okay, here, rear tire. Oh, brake. Oh, a little clutch and a whip. Or, I'm sorry, a flick. And another flick. Flick. Oh, brake. Dump a clutch. When I brake going into a corner, I am almost always brake and clutch. And then I let go of the brake and wait until I smooth out, and then I dump the clutch. So, I don't know, maybe that'll make sense to somebody. Oh, ride that rear tire now, baby. Skim the tops. Get through here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was trying something fancy at the end there, but uh, it didn't work out. Uh, sometimes things just don't work out. Oh, look at that! I got first place in every freaking single race? Are you kidding me? I got 41,000 fucking moto coins? Oh, baby! Alright, I'm hitting... I'm hitting A. Why, why isn't anything happening? Oh, that was like if I wanted to rerun the races. Notice I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling through all the different races. I won all five. Okay, great. I'm going to hit uh, the start button. It takes me to the menu. And guess what? I'm going to hit start menu again. And then right button, garage. Let's go to the garage. And let's go to... Mm. I don't want to swap vehicles and... Oh, well, that's where you purchase new parts. Well... Okay, so for the exhaust, let's go there. I, I want that FMF... I want the FMF dualies. Okay, I need to get a closer look. Okay. No. Okay. I'm pretty okay with this. No. 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 Hmm. Kind of like the... Um, well, let's see. The titaniums. Let me, uh... <gasps> Nope, it didn't do it. Damn it. Okay, so back. Vehicle. No! Fuck that shit. How did I get here? No! Oh. Alright. So, oh shit, that's a two-stroker, dude. No. Vehicle. No. 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 I see how I got jacked up there. That's it. There's my bike. Okay. Okay. Now. No. No. Rename back quick swap. How do I fucking navigate through this stupid shit? That. That. Okay. I don't want Yosh. Oh, the Yosh Dooleys look good though. Wow. But I am an FMF fan. Carbon fiber. Titanium anodized. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber titanium. Is there any... Like, let, let me... Everything's 800 bucks. So I, I don't think that performance is really, like, massively weighted upon... Oh, shit. God damn, the Yosha look really good, though, don't they? Eh, Pro Circuit Duels, yeah, those look pretty good. We're going for FMF, though. No matter what. Not the blues. Not the blacks. Going with that. Okay. Sprockets, wheels, and stupid shit like that. I don't even care. So now we're going to tuning. Tires. Oh. Tuning isn't really relative to the money you have, is it? Ah, oh, shit. Well, I 
I guess it's all about the vehicle then. No! Okay, that's the bike. And now let's look at the engine. I have 10 grand to unlock the fastest engine for this bike. And I guess I did. Yes, I did. So now in the clutch. You know what? Fuck that. Chassis. I want the best chassis. Got the best engine. Confirm equip. Clutch. A stock 250? Recluse or Hinson? We're going for a Hinson. Tires. Man, we already got the Dunlop Geomax. Ah, but there's Geomax 52s. We're going with these. On the graphics kit. Oh man, I love that old uh, retro Yamaha, but I think we're going to come right back around to uh, the colors we were running. Now, I'm a rider, I might want to upgrade my shit. I do, I do, I do want to upgrade my rider. Where's my, where are my colors? There you go. We're sticking with that. Chassis, we already upgraded. Brakes. We're just going with the highest value of the existing. Wheels. Why are these why are these wheels any different than the other ones? Fifteen hundred bucks. Um, I already have the rainbow spiders. Let's look at these in. Man, what do they look like in blue? Man, blue didn't. Oh, that's a hub. Okay, we already. I already did this. Sprockets. For the sprocket, did I just, did I just have, yeah, I had black because, right, I was doing black tire, red rim, Black sprocket red. Okay, so Renthal twin ring black. Confirm unlock. So I guess I unlocked some shit. I spent 40 grand. So there's my red forks. And I want to keep red forks. But uh, if I go to Elka. Olins. We're going Olins. I'll f go for gold gold. <laughs> Guess you only care if it's, uh, if you know what you're talking about. Oh, WP would have been good. 
but Olin's are spectacular product. Okay. We're out of there. Okay, so my MX250. The engine is as built as I can get it. The clutch is a Henson. The tires have been upgraded. The graphic kit, we don't care. The chassis. seems to have been upgraded. The brakes hmm, have been upgraded. Wheels have been upgraded. Sprocket upgraded. Exhaust upgraded. Suspension upgraded. Okay, handlebars. What can they possibly do for me? Pro taper contours. Renthals. You know what? We're going to go with some Renthal Twin Walls. Oh, no. Let's go with the Fat Bar. Blue. Hmm. Do they come in gold to match the uh, forks? Okay, then we're going to go with red. Fuck it. The seat. I like the seat, man. I'm going to keep the seat. I'm going to keep the grips. Yeah, there's no more other grips. A whole shot. Aha. The whole shot is equipped. Okay, so what can I spend this other 10 grand on? I guess uh, my 450, right? Okay, I'm cool with that. So let's go back. No, what happened? There you go. I'm liking the bike. All right, um, garage, series, pro arena cross. Oh, wow. Well, there's a lot of events there. I am going to make that into a different stream after I have some tacos. <laughs> Because I was talking about tacos and now I'm really, really hungry. Hope that was fun. I definitely had fun.